Hey guys, Lord King here again with another video. This time it's going to be something a little bit different. I'm sure you can tell from reading the title that it's not a Xenoverse, FIFA or NBA video. I'm actually going to be doing a UFC breakdown, specifically UFC London, which is this weekend. I wanted to do a breakdown mainly because I'm quite obsessed with MMA to put it clearly. I like gaming, I like a lot of sports in general, I actually like, I'm into fitness and pharmaceuticals, I have a degree in pharmaceuticals. and. I, I do love MMA quite a lot, so I thought I'd actually try and give you guys maybe a bit of an insight into the MMA world, maybe with some breakdowns, some previews, and then possibly if it's a good event, I can do a review as well on the Sunday. Now, don't worry if you are a loyal subscriber or you tend to watch my videos. These will only be sort of periodical things that happen occasionally when there's an event on. So it's not going to be a, a thing that's happening every day or every week. You can count on the majority of the start of the week will be Xenoverse videos. Friday could be a FIFA video, possibly FIFA Fridays if people like that. And then weekends when there is a UFC event on, I can do a two video breakdown of it. Now, the next UFC event isn't actually until the 10th of April, so you've got quite a while, and if for some reason you can actually like the videos, and you've got quite a while to wait until the next one will be put out. Now, just remember, guys, I'm not an MMA expert before I criticise for it. I just, I absolutely love the sport, so I like to break it down and almost pretty much analyse it whenever I can. I have been training uh, in mixed martial arts, martial arts in general, for a few years now. So I have a relatively good insight into the background of martial arts, what's going on and how and what's kind of happening, which some people may not pick up on, so you guys may enjoy listening to me break them down. So now, again, like I said, if you don't actually enjoy these MMA videos, then don't worry, because this Sunday there is going to be another Dragon Ball uh, episode coming out, well, an episode from my channel coming out, so I will hopefully maybe do a review of that. I hope you guys can tune into that, and you may, if you don't enjoy this, then just you can always wait for that on Sunday. So firstly, moving into the gossip sort of side of MMA before I actually do a, a quick sort of UFC London breakdown. First thing on the menu we actually have is the McGregor Mayweather talk. Now I'm sure even if you don't like MMA or if you just like boxing, I'm pretty sure most of you have probably heard of the McGregor Mayweather talk. When it's going to happen, where it's going to happen, all the sort of build up towards it because it probably will be the biggest sort of pay-per-view event in history of combat sports. So now what we do know is that Dana White did say, I believe maybe yesterday, that the event is probably coming a bit closer to happening. He's not going to prevent Conor McGregor from doing the event if he wanted to. And apparently the venue T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas has actually been booked. Whether this is true or not, we're not too sure, but keep your, keep your ears open for the possible possible news. The next next topic we have is Anderson Silva will probably be fighting Kelvin Gastelum, who Kelvin Gastelum recently just won beating Vitor Belfort. If you are watching the video, the person who is on the right-hand side now is Vitor Belfort. Kelvin Gastelum just destroyed him in the first round, so he will now be fighting the legend Anderson the Spider Silva in Rio, Brazil, UFC 212 in June. The final little bit of news that we have is, I'm not sure if you've been keeping up with any of it, but George St. Pierre is coming back, arguably the best ever pound for pound UFC fighter in history. He is making his return and he will be fighting Michael Bisping the, of, from the UK, who is the middleweight champion. Obviously this has caused a little bit of drama with some middleweight fighters being a little bit shunned out here, wondering how George St. Pierre has come back and got a title shot over them. But that is kind of how the UFC is laid out in the end, where money, with, the, with the rise of Conor McGregor, the money fights are kind of the biggest thing now to make a big name for themselves. Let's not forget the UFC was purchased by WME for about 4.2 billion. So this is almost like a debt to them. They have to try and repay this or sort of pay it off in a certain amount of time for them. So they're making these big sort of money fights to try and make, make enough profit, if it makes sense. So now if you did catch last week's, you'll know what I'm last week's UFC event, you'll know what I'm saying here. There are a few vicious sort of uh, a few vicious sort of knockouts I advise you to go see if you're not a UFC fan. It may kind of make you get into it a little bit more. One being um, Edson Barbosa's knee knockout, which was ridiculous um, to say to say the least. If you can go watch that, go take a look at um, Edson Barbosa knockout versus Dariush. That was really crazy. And one of the one of the actual legends of the sport, Mauricio Shogun Rua, made a quite a big sort of return against Villante, actually um, knocking him out, or a TKO. So that was pretty, pretty big sort of stuff happening last week. I do advise you to go check it out. It may help you enjoy the sport a little bit if, if you haven't seen it before. 
Now moving on actually to the analysis of US and London. To, to put it into perspective firstly, I'm going to try and keep these videos relatively shortish around the 12 minute, 10 to 12 minute mark, maybe 15 max. This one's going to be a little bit longer due to the intro, but keeping them relatively short and concise just to give you guys a sort of insight into what's actually happening. So, so first we have um, my sort of my picks from the preliminary card. So I'm not going to go through the whole thing because it's a little bit of a quite a long card and take a lot of time to go over. Unless you guys did enjoy that sort of stuff, then leave in the comments below and I can do that. So my sort of picks of the night for the prelim, we have uh, first Leon Edwards versus Vincente Luque. Leon Edwards actually being a Brit from, I believe, Birmingham, uh, fighting out of AKA, which is the same place where Daniel Cormier fights uh, Khabib Nurmagomedov, you may have heard of, and Luke Rockhold. And then he's he's fighting Vincente Luque, who's a black zillion, well, black zillions are kind of no longer in existence anymore. He fights out of that team and is a Brazilian. So he did quite well in the Ultimate Fighter as well. So that will be quite an interesting fight. I'd say look out for that. Could be quite sparks could fly. The next, the next pick on the prelim card, which I would say to look out for, is Joseph Duffy versus Reza Madadi. Joseph Duffy, also known as the person who previously beat Conor McGregor before he actually entered the UFC in Cage Warriors. So keep an eye out for him. Now the first fight on the main card is Arnold Allen versus Makwan Amekani. Arnold Allen, a young, young upcoming Brit, is going to be going against Makwan Amekani, who is a um, actually known now for fighting with, uh, well, under John Kavana, who is uh, Conor McGregor's head coach. So keep an eye out for maybe some sort of Conor McGregor-esque style techniques from Makwan Amekani, and you never know what you can never know what can happen with this. These sort of upcoming fighters in the UFC who are going to try and put on a performance for us. Now the next fight we have is in the bantamweights, Brad Pickett versus Marlon Vera. Now I'm not going to go into too much description of Brad Pickett because all I really have to say is that he is probably the biggest legend the UFC has from the UK. This guy has fought his whole career in MMA and he's always put on performances in the UFC. He's also known as Dana, one of Dana White's favourite fighters, Dana White being one of the head honchos in the UFC. So he's actually one of his favourite fighters because he always puts on great performances, he always looks for a knockout. So keep an eye out for his fight against Marlon Vera, who's an upcoming young sort of uh, fighter from Ecuador, I believe, possibly Ecuador. So now the, the co-main event we have is Gunnar Nelson versus Alan Juban. Gunnar Nelson fighting out of straight glass gym, again under John Cavana, who is again known for being Conor McGregor's head coach. Gunnar Nelson actually is one of Conor McGregor's main training partners. So again, they have quite a similar sort of stand-up style, very karate-esque. But the one difference between Gunnar Nelson and Conor, Conor McGregor is Gunnar Nelson's ground game, his jiu-jitsu is phenomenal, is off off the charts despite one of his most recent losses to Damian Meyer mainly, bec mainly because Damian Meyer's ground game which he actually beat him by submission Damian Meyer's ground game is probably the best in the UFC if not the UFC maybe the world he is an incredible ground jiu-jitsu fighter so there's nothing to be ashamed of for Gunnar Nelson but keep an eye out for this fight because Alan Juban has an incredibly good stand-up Muay Thai sort of style always looking to do flashy sort of kicks punches these sorts of things and not to mention also he is a double threat in the sense he can fight but he is also a model he has modeled for numerous companies now so i do advise you if you want to know more about alan juban do look him up alan juban he is a incredibly good looking guy so hopefully he's probably not going to want to get his face hit that much and may look for a early finish of Gunnar Nelson but that fight could has potential has potential to be fight of the night so do tune into that the co-main event now the main event we have Jimmy Manoa versus Corey Anderson. Jimmy Manoa, the London boy, also known as the poster boy, is um, representing pretty much his hometown here in London. He will be fighting out of All Stars Gym and also a in Sweden with Alexander Gustafsson. One of his last losses actually in London came to Alexander Gustafsson, and so I assume he's now kind of teamed up with him to get some pointers and just develop his game. He's coming off one of the one of the most devastating knockouts I've seen in the UFC against Ovin St. Prue. It was an incredible knockout and he looked, Jimmy Manoa looked like he's never looked before. He looked incredible. This is against Ovin St. Prue, the same guy who went five rounds with John Jones. Now I'm sure even if you don't like MMA, you probably know who John Jones is for being involved in the scandals outside of the UFC whilst he was fighting in the UFC, having his belt stripped from him and so forth. So now he will be going against Corey Anderson. Corey Anderson, quite a grinding sort of wrestler. He will probably be looking for a takedown. He has got great stand-up, but he will probably be looking for a takedown. 
and most likely if he can grind Jimmy Manor out he may look for a submission or a finish later on in the fight. So now what, what, what I'm going to do is I've kind of given you a breakdown of the main event I'm now going to do my, my picks my picks of the main event so first things first we have KO of the night I'm going to go straight straight away for Jimmy Manoa I think he's going to knock out Corey Anderson I'm not sure what round but I feel we'll put almost a bit of pressure on him and he'll get he'll get a finish with within the first two rounds I'll say it is a five round fight so I'm going to say the first two rounds next I'm going to have submission of the night submission of the night I believe is going to be Gunnar Nelson versus Alan Juban I feel Gunnar Nelson is going to grind down Alan Juban and probably take him down and eventually get get a submission fight of the night also I'm going to go for Brad Pickett versus Marlon Vera this the Brad Pickett always known for his crazy sort of fights and Marlon Vera being quite young and upcoming he's probably going to look for a finish something to entertain and maybe get a better fight in the future this is this being his fifth fight in the UFC and probably his toughest test so he's looking to impress the the bosses now it so happens that the three picks I did make are all on the main card but do not skip the prelim preliminary card because there are some quite crazy sort of fights on there anything can happen so now Obviously, when I say crazy fights, Jimmy Manor versus Corey Anderson isn't exactly what the UK wanted to see as a main event. I mean, it's an, it's an incredible main event, but coming off what we previously had with Bisping versus Anderson Silva, then Bisping defending his title in, in Manchester, we kind of expected a little bit more, but I mean, fighting is UFC fighting is UFC fighting. Like, all, all fights on the card have potential to give us give us something big. So now if you are betting people, then I'm going to just go through a quick rundown of some odds, which you could always go for. You have Leon Edwards, who is a slight underdog against Vincente Luque. Leon Edwards can always pull off a win with KO or submission. You have Reza Madadi against Joseph Duffy. Reza Madadi is a huge underdog, so you could always bet on him. Maybe he's about 5-1 to one at the moment, so that could be a, gosh, maybe a plus 500 in America. I'm not exactly sure. Um, next, you have Gunnar Nelson versus Alan Juban. Alan Juban, again, is a pretty big underdog. He's about just over 2-1. to one which I'm not too sure of the American odds, but it's quite, he's quite a, a big underdog. And then Jimmy Manoa, who's actually the favourite against Corey Anderson. So my betting picks would be Leon Edwards, Reza Madadi, Alan Juban and Jimmy Manoa. So if you wanted to bet them, again, guys, MMA math doesn't work. I'm just going to quickly put something out. MMA math is not a thing. One person may beat one person because they're better than them, but then the worst person in the division, division could beat them by some crazy knockout. These things are not linear. It's not as easy as with football and basketball, all these sort of sports where the better team normally wins. MMA, absolutely anything can happen. So keep an eye out for those fights. I hope you guys enjoyed the breakdown that I've done. I'm hoping on Sunday, if it's if it's a good event, obviously if it's the worst event in history, I probably won't do it. But if it is a good event, I may do a review and actually a technical sort of breakdown. So the sort of techniques people have used, how they set them up. You can guys, you guys can let me know if you enjoyed that. Also keep an eye out for most likely Sunday or Monday I'll be doing a, a Dragon Ball Super episode review. Again, I know obviously uh, Rhyme Style and Geek can do that as well, but I thought I'd put my take on it. You guys may may enjoy me doing it i'm not sure if if you dislike them for some whatever reason they do have some of the best breakdowns of episodes on youtube so i'm assuming you guys do like them but if you wanted to see mine anyway it could be a good thing to watch so now i hope you guys enjoyed this i'm looking to do more of these it's again it's something that i absolutely love i am mma is one of my one of my passions so these sort of things breaking it down and doing these small things for you i love hugely so if whatever you guys want to see let me know if you guys enjoyed this video please put it in the comments if you guys want to see more if you want me to do something different if you want me to change it up however whatever you want me to do please put comments down below and keep me updated i hope you like share with your friends family pets dogs cats whatever and subscribe as well i'm trying to grow as a youtuber i know i use the analogy of the journey with me as the growing youtuber but it's, it's quite true and i mean it the subscribers that i have now are you mean a big deal to me but i'm always looking to grow so thank you guys like share and subscribe